on this team who, who grew up on, as uh, kids of NFL people, and you, you included. What were some of the things that your your dad uh, instructed you on in, in, as you progressed in football? I mean, what were the, some of the, uh, the, the lessons that he imparted? Uh, the biggest thing he just told me was to continue just to work hard, and I wasn't going to accomplish anything just by being me or thinking that you know I got it made that I have to actually work for everything I get, and that's something I carry into you know playing well here is you know I study a whole a ton of film, and uh, I work hard on the practice field, work hard in the weight room, and you know I never think that I've arrived or anything like that because I still have a long ways to go and I'm still early in my career so the biggest thing you stressed to me was never stop working and whenever you think that you're good enough keep working because you're not and there's always somebody that's going to be better and there's always somebody trying to outwork you or wanting to be in your position so just just work. What, was he up in uh, Pullman? He was not, no. <laughs> um, how did it feel to be national? You were, uh, I think was a Pro Football Writers National Player of the Week. Yeah, uh, just found that out. Oh, that was that was just great. Um, just realizing just the, all the hard work you put in, and you know, I still remember you know parts and pe the people who doubted me, and you know, the people who said that I was too slow to play in my position, or the coaches, even some coaches in this conference, told me you know I wasn't you know, good enough to play in my position. So just to be recognized in that sense and that all my hard work's paid off and being around great coaches uh, put me in the position to make plays, having a great coach, uh, Coach Akina, who I think is the best in the nation, and just being around some of the best teammates in the world and teammates constantly pushing me to be the best I can be. And even when they know my potential and even when I not reaching it on a certain day, they always push me to get to that potential. So it was just humbling and, you know, just great to be recognized in that way. Coach Shaw was saying a little while ago that he thought you could play any position in the secondary, safety, nickel, corner. Yeah. Uh, what, what would be your uh, preference? Um, you know, wherever the coaches like me, you know, I was recruited here to play corner. Um, so that's kind of where I'm most comfortable. But when they told me that, uh, at the first day of training camp, they started having me play plays in nickel. Um, you know, it was kind of kind of learning on the fly. Um, but like I said, I have great coaches that you know walk step walk me through things, and I work ridiculously hard learning the playbook. And that's the biggest thing, with, especially with our defense. We're so multiple in what we do that you really have to learn. Uh, your position first and learn what you have to do and and then you have to also learn what other players around you are doing as well and try to you know fit to what they're doing and once you do that then you'll be good but um, I like to be uh, flexible in anything I do and um, that's one thing wherever the team needs me the most that's what I'm willing to do. Did you, yeah, I think you mentioned after the game that Ronnie Harris told you that that screen was coming, yeah. the second one. Yeah. What did he say? Did he um, he did? just, we like I said, we, we as a secondary in particular, we watch a lot of film together. And uh, we have a, a great coach and Coach Akina who prepares us um, tremendously for what other teams' tendencies are. And uh, we notice in that particular formation, they like to to run the screenplay, and Ronnie noticed it even before I did. I mean, I, I had a sense that it was coming, but Ronnie, like, for, so he just knew like it was coming. So, and then that particular coverage uh, that we were in, um, I, it gave me the opportunity to take a chance, um, and I just, I just jumped it, and it happened to be the screenplay. And so, um, that's something that uh, we practiced kind of during the week, and I just. Trusting my instincts. So. How about the earlier pick? Can you describe how that developed? Um, so we like like again we said uh, we noticed that that formation, um, and then all week we were preaching for me to go get underneath that route um, when we noticed that formation and a certain route release that the receiver did. And I actually tried to do that earlier in the game, but I kind of hesitated. And then uh, Cody Whitfield uh, came to sideline. One time, you just like you just gotta go, just go, just trust it. And so once I noticed the formation that time, I just once I saw my receiver uh, release the way he did, I just just trust my instincts and went, and and the ball just fell into my hands. So.
Yeah, yeah. Sure. Gave credit to the safe senior safeties for the whole secondary play. How was the safeties? Uh, Whitfield and Lloyd helped him. Oh, they, they helped us tremendously. I mean, they're the quarterbacks of our defense and especially uh, definitely our secondary. And, um, you know, they know more than um, I'd say any of us as far as getting us in the right position and knowing what we have to do, playing the play out. And uh, we kind of just feed off of those two and their leadership and um, just where to be. And they're just great mentors to us all. When, uh, so just on the play you were referring to before, did you mean you had to trust leaving your man to to drop back? Well, in the particular covers we were in, I was able to um, leave my guy once he did a certain release because someone else was going to pick him up. So that, that's what we were talking about. Okay, and my other question uh, was just about Coach Aquino. You mentioned that you feel like he's one of the best, if not the best, secondary mm -hmm. coach in the country. You kind of mentioned a little bit on the preparation, but can you elaborate a little bit on why you feel that way? Um, just the way that he talks the game through. Um, he doesn't just speak on it as far as like this, you have to do this and memorize the things. He teaches you concepts and that's one thing that, you know, when I was being recruited that I was looking for because, you know, my dad is a long time secondary coach. So I wanted somebody in college who I felt was going to be the best and I feel like Coach King was definitely that guy. And um, I wasn't wrong in my in my thinking. Um, I mean, he's he coaches you really hard, um, but you know it's all out of love. And he's he's gonna do his study and he's gonna put you in the right positions. And you just have to trust the uh, trust the things that he's coached you up to do. And you know, and he'll put you in the right position to make the plays. That was a plane ride home. Pretty wild. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, a lot of players went to sleep, but I'm not. I can't really sleep well on planes, so I kind of was up the whole time, but it was a good feeling. Though. I don't even consider the finishing of uh, the game. I mean, was it this normal with playing right home or a little different? Uh, I mean, it was it was just like any other win we get, um, any other big win. You know, we felt the same way uh, riding back from USC um, as we did here. So, um, but same thing with Oregon State as well. So, um, anytime you get a road victory, it's always it always feels good and everybody's always excited. Against uh, Colorado, what will be the key uh, for, for the secondary? <coughs> Nelson Spruce is the all-time leading receiver in the Pac-12. Mm -hmm. What about him uh, and, and some of the other guys in that team? What, what's the challenge of playing that? Um, the challenge is the same as every week, just learning their tendencies, learning what they like to do, and trying to take away their base offense and trying to limit what they do really well. Um, and Nelson, he's a, a great receiver, um, really good possession receiver, knows what he's doing, great route runner. All their receivers are really great route runners, as we've seen um, so far. So just really just trusting our technique, trusting what the coaches are preaching to us all week, and just making plays when they come to us. Any more questions? Just real quick, just uh, so how much game film have you actually seen of Colorado so far? Um, I've studied a, a game uh, so far, so um, you know, not too much. It's still early in the week, and I like to do my schoolwork uh, early in the week, focus on that, get that kind of out the way, and then kind of later in the week, kind of focus more on the film study and preparation. So, so when you talk about film study, do you like you, you go over it not just once or twice, but a lot, just rerun it? Okay. Yeah, just it's all, all my iPads on repeat all the time, just watch a film just whenever I have free time I'm um, just I'm on it uh, you know it's, it's what I love to do I love the the X's and the O's of games uh, many people say I should be a coach after I'm done playing <coughs> whatever, but I just I just love that part of the aspect of the game and I think that you know I'm a decent athlete but the reason I can make plays, the reason I'm um, a successful player is because my meticulous attention to detail. And um, it's, it's not perfect, and it still needs to get better. And that's what I work with the coaches on and trying to improve that aspect as well. Because to me, this game is so mental that you have to, to be successful, you have to have an edge mentally. And, you know, a lot of players go out there and just play on pure athleticism. But, you know, I, I'm not one of those guys. So. Quentin, uh, uh, Coach Shaw was saying that he, he's not going to watch the uh, college uh, the selection committees uh, uh, that show this afternoon. Mm -hmm. How about you? How about the rest of the players? Are you getting interested in it? Or? Um, to me, not really, because you know it's just it's what 
it is currently. I mean, next week is going to be totally different. So, uh, you know, I really, we're really not too focused on that. We're just focused on Colorado this weekend and getting another win, getting 1-0 on the season and, um, you know, just focusing on winning another game. So.